am going to do lectures on basic electronics engineering which is a part of basic electrical and electronic engineering it is a common subject to all first year engineering students okay so uh, the basic electronics engineering okay yes uh, i want to introduce the subject this basic electronics engineering subject completely consists of basic topics okay for example yes what are the basic topics like your pn junction diode okay then gina diode then bjp and its configuration okay then power supply power supply the power supply block consists of rectifier filter like that you must uh, learn the rectifier and filter like that then uh, the public address system yes instrumentation system is some basic topics in uh, digital electronics like uh, number system then logic gates okay then flip flops and extensions to flip flops registers counters basic things okay yes mainly these are the uh, main topics i guess so these are actually basic topics yes you are going to study all these basic topics okay so now as a first topic yes there is actually uh, as a first topic uh, evolution of electronics starting from vacuum tubes to nano electronics concept i have done it already in the form of video i uploaded in channel also please first you go through that uh, video evolution of electronics which consists of yes so the definition of electronics and applications of electronics and also the evolution starting from vacuum tubes to nano electronics okay please watch it okay now as a first class i am going to start pn junction diode but you know the pn junction diode is made up of p type and n type semiconductors you already studied it uh, in the intermediate physics and in the school physics also in the 10th class like that okay but yes here i want to just recollect what is p type semiconductor and what is n type semiconductor yes to know the p type and n type semiconductors first you must start from the concept semiconductor okay so now i'll briefly explain up to the p and n type semiconductors and i I'll, in detail i'll go for p n junction diode okay so now we'll see what is semiconductor so what is semiconductor a semiconductor is a element whose conductivity is between metal and insulator okay whose conductivity is between metal and insulator what is the example best example for metal copper what is the best example for insulator glass so the conductivity of semiconductor lies between yes the metal and yes the insulator okay so the first point is what is the first point conductivity is between conductor and insulator okay is yes, the example for conductor copper and the example for insulator glass or uh, wood etc okay yes now yes you have conductor whose conductivity is more why are you going for semiconductor because semiconductor conductivity is less than conductor but why you are going for semiconductor because in the conductor there is no controlled conductivity means conductor means it gives all the time the same conductivity okay but in the semiconductor you can control the conductivity you can get the conductivity according to your requirement that is the main advantage of semiconductor you can use a semiconductor as insulator semiconductor as conductor at some uh, a uh, specific conditions okay so that is the reason of choosing semiconductor okay yes yes now is yes, another important point 
is okay which type of elements acts as semiconductors all fourth group elements okay all fourth group elements we have other semiconductors but these fourth group elements are naturally existing elements naturally available elements and cast is very less that is the reason we are going for fourth group elements okay so what are the examples of fourth group elements silicon germanium and tin yes uh, the atomic numbers of silicon germanium and tin silicon is 14 and this is 32 and this is 50 okay yes uh, silicon and germanium are very abundantly existing so we are going for these two fourth group elements what is one the fourth group their valence is 4 means in the outermost orbit number of uh, electrons of 4 means the valence is 4 okay then we'll see uh, the types of semiconductors yes what are the types of semiconductors Is how many types of semiconductors are there? The first type intrinsic semiconductor and second type extrinsic semiconductor. Intrinsic semiconductors are pure form of semiconductors and extrinsic semiconductors are impure form of semiconductors. Okay. So, in the next class, we will see about the intrinsic semiconductor and extrinsic semiconductor in detail. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.